So welcome back to Jen's Jungle with Ebby the Adventure Cat and today Ebby is picking his first adventure from his adventure pool and this is the one he picked straight away. Each pool has an adventure written down on it for Ebby to choose and a little treat and this is his first week so let's see what he's picked. He did not want the treat so we will save that for later and we will see what he has picked this week. And of course, when I drop the treat, Ebby wants it straight away, so he gobbles that down. And today, we are going fossil hunting. So let's get ready to go. So this is Ebby's little wardrobe, which contains all his harnesses, leads and accessories. Let's have a look at what to choose today. As we are going to the Jurassic Coast for fossil hunting, I think we need his dinosaur harness. And I think we need to use his matching dinosaur lead. Ebby raring to go here. And for a bit of extra style, we'll also pop on his dinosaur bandana. So let's get him all dressed. Ebby is really good at wearing harnesses. He's always been good at them. He never seems bothered by putting them on. And this is one of the reasons he makes such a great adventure cat. So we'll pop this on and make sure it's nice and tight. Ebby is still growing, so we do still need to adjust his harness sometimes. But today this fitted nicely. We'll pop on his little bandana. This was made for him by his auntie. And finally we'll pop this lead on so he's nice and secure. And there we are ready to go on our first adventure for fossil hunting. So we headed to a nearby bay known for fossils and as we're going to the beach of course we had to bring cousin Dylan and Dougal. Ebby stayed in his bag at first I think it was a little windy for him and we walked along the shore looking for any fossils we could spot. After a while Ebby fancied joining the dogs exploring and hunting for fossils. Ebby loves being out with his cousins. He quickly became confident exploring the beach. And he started his little fossil hunt. So along we walked. And here Ebby has found his first little fossil in a rock but this one's a bit too big to take with us so we'll just admire it. We carried on walking along. I think Ebby liked the sand on his paws and there's lots of new things for him to explore whilst he hunted for his fossils. His keen eyes are out and looking at the moment. Here we are, we have found our first little fossil we can take. It's a little tiny one but in really great condition. And Ebby is straight away hunting for some more. He loved exploring in all the rocks. He did want to go and explore the cliffs. However, as mudslides are quite common in this area, it's important to stay safe and not to get too close to it. I think Ebby got a bit annoyed at me for not letting him explore the cliffs. He is quite a determined little man and he knows what he wants to do. However, it's important to always keep your adventure cat safe. And after a while, he decided to head back to the beach and we did some more fossil hunting. And of course, cousin Dylan and Dougal were always close by to him. So we quickly gathered some pace as Ebby explored the beach hunting for more fossils. He loved getting his nose into all the rocks and seeing what was what. And there was loads for him to explore and hunt for those fossils. Here are the cliffs as you can see 
they are quite prone to slide so it is important not to get too close however Ebby did ex enjoy exploring some of the rocks and look he found a whole bunch of little fossils here really beautiful little patterns in the rock so all in all we had a great time hunting for fossils on the beach we then headed into a local town and Ebby enjoyed a little ride in his backpack he loves riding in his backpack and just watching everyone go past he has a lot of admirers we even popped into some shops to do a bit of shopping and Ebby enjoyed exploring them and getting loads of fuss as per usual Ebby loves meeting new people when he's out and about and loves all the attention he gets and he enjoyed exploring the shop a little bit Finally, we sat on a nearby bench by the seafront which meant Ebby could do some people watching He was absolutely exhausted after his trip and had a sleep in his car with his new dinosaur friend So this was Ebby's first adventure but each week we'll be doing another adventure that he'll pick from his adventure pool So please follow Jen's Jungle for more Ebby adventures each Monday Please like, follow and subscribe and we'll see you next week. <laughs>